everybody welcome back to my channel i am the god of a k if you've just stopped by and you don't know who i am i am a lifestyle blogger if you do like my content please click the subscribe button down below so that i could have this continue having this huge smile on my face if you've always been a subscriber thank you so so much for tuning in again so we have just reached 500 subscribers on youtube yay <laughs> anyway today is a very different video i'm shooting a perfume collection i'm shooting my perfume collection let me show you guys so i'll oh i'll be looking right down to my right because that's where the perfume is but now the pu the perfumes are but now i'll pick them up just to show you how they look on the tray i hope i don't make them fall but this is my perfume collection <laughs> Now that you've seen the entire collection, I'm going to introduce each one as I go, okay? So first up, we have the... Okay, let me start. I'll, I'll range from cheapest to most expensive, okay? So first up, we have Armani. This is a generic of Armani C by Giorgio Armani. I bought this from Fine Fragrance Collection. Um, there it is. It is 50 mils. Is it 50 mils? No, it's 30 mils and it goes for 60 rand. Okay. I don't think I'll mention the prices like Everywhere. I'll just be sure to link the perfume and its price in the description box. So this is my first perfume. Um, I, I first smelled this perfume on my then um, Lash artist, right? So obviously she's my lash artist her whole body her especially her neck Will be in my face type of thing so that's when i first smelled it i didn't know the name of the perfume at the time until i blind bought this on the fine fragrance collection website and then immediately when i opened it it smelled of her she she smells amazing this one um i, I listen i'm not good with notes and whatnot ne? mara this perfume smells like a picnic it smells like a picnic go rose farm or go strawberry farm type of thing there's vanilla yeah that's, that's that's the vibe i'm getting you know that's the vibe i'm getting i'm not going to use notes because i didn't study this collection i don't there are some which i know but some which i don't know so that's a, that's the first one now the second one is also from fine fragrance there it is um but this one is black opium by eve's saint laurent yves saint laurent and it was also 60 rand all their perfumes all the generic perfumes go for 60 rand you'll check out their website so this one is also a blind buy yeah it's also a blind buy um but i fell in love with it immediately so i am not a sweet perfume kind of person i love your your woody perfumes your vanilla but more on the woody side, your tobacco, your coffee, you know, those kind of smoky perfumes. I don't like sweet perfumes. I don't know. First of all, I don't have a sweet tooth. So, you know, yeah, but this one smells like a date night. It smells like a date night out. And by the way, these fine fragrances perfumes, they last longer than Zara perfumes. They last longer than the actual perfumes itself like the original original perfume like they last long they even last like, the following day type of thing you know so these are honestly good good investments i just wish fine fragrance had like um had more designer perfumes instead of the usual type of thing you know what i mean but these perfumes smell spectacular but this one um smells like a date like you're going out on a date with your significant other it smells like also dinner with the girls at a luxe restaurant like Botheni, boom ethos you know those kind of uh it's that mood mood ella where the restaurant is like dark inside not dark where you can't see each other but where you get the mood and they last because you don't actually spray tata 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 like your normal perfumes because they last like two, three, three sprays. You're good to go. The next perfume, I guess we're going from 
cheaper to most expensive okay anyway the next perfume is this one from zara it is an eau de tony oh the two previous ones giddy eau de perfume and they have a lot of the reason why they smell longer and smell more intense is because they have more more perfume oil in the actual bottle so you guys will check out their website and see and read up on everything everything you need to know is there so this one it's not an um you the perfume it's a you the toilet okay so it doesn't smell long you always have to keep reapplying it but it is from zara as you can see and it is called red vanilla zara dress time zero one okay like i said i don't like um sweet perfumes this one is also not a sweet perfumes just a quick backstory this is the first perfume i ever bought for myself i bought it color like 20 17 18 that was the first the packaging was not even like this if you remember how zara perfumes used to be nedika like in a the, the the packaging used to be more square type of packaging like seamless and not this curved shape but this was my first ever perfume that i ever bought for myself i remember i was still studying in the university of pretoria but this one also smells like date night tea type of vibe wait let me wait for it to sink in but it smells more date night um the 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 i love it it's a nostalgic perfume now. however i would not unless i'm going to the gym the U E A T or you the, the toilet perfumes normally i put them on when i go to the gym or um when i run errands because i know they will last and when i come back home i'll come back home still smelling like these perfumes right so but if I don't put them on Hekia Gym or run errands, I layer them with my other perfumes, my other more intense perfumes. So if I want to smell a certain way and smell a unique way, I will always layer with Uda Toilets. Right, the third one is this one. My back hurts. The third one is this one. Um, it's, it's from Niche Perfumes. It's a black-owned perfume yeah brand and the the name of this perfume is belly bone it's also an extra this one Ibile, is not an eau de perfume it's an extra de perfume however um it smells like an eau de perfume extra de perfumes are supposed to smell longer and more intense than eau de perfumes but this one doesn't um it's those perfumes that you, you you'll put on twice if you're going to have this perfume on the whole day you you'll, you would put it on in the morning and in the afternoon got my four just to retouch and continue smelling like this so this is actually a i don't know what to call it it's not a generic it's not a <clears throat> excuse me it's not the original but it's like a a replica almost a replica of chanel um mademoiselle mademoiselle i hope i'm saying it correctly this is a or a dupe of it yeah belly bone it smells it's also sweet this was also a blend by most if you 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 guys will see throughout the video most of my perfumes are actually dupes or replicas of designer perfumes i cannot yet afford perfumes with five thousand rands going up so for now replicas and dupes will have to do so this one also smells like okay this one smells like brunch brunch in the morning go my pole with your friends or with your significant other it also smells like you're going to work i know a lot of corporate babes smell like this i don't know why but i i tend to think Hore, you know people always used to praise chanel coco madame but coco chanel madame sell but his neck is smell a perfume in a long toilet hence i don't like it i also layer it with my other perfumes because sometimes i don't like the smell of it depending on the season depending on the weather sometimes i don't like the smell at all so i layer it with my eau perfumes and i better get extra but okay next up we have this one dollar oh dolores pour femme eau de perfume dolores you dolores pour femme this is how it looks as you can see, if you're a perfume person, I'm sure you it looks similar. This is a replica or a dupe of Marc Jacobs Decadence. Decadence for her or decadence. Yes. Um 
this was also a blind buy guys now i blind buy perfumes i just read Gordy notes and what and see if there's nothing sweet if there isn't i buy and also i watch a lot of reviews on youtube on perfumes so i know i already have an idea of how the perfume smells but this one smells lovely i love how it smells this was actually a recommendation from my friend and lash artist Molima musubie um okay get it already okay let me put it here um this i love it this also smells date night you smell expensive with this perfume you smell like you are somebody's rich mom type of thing you know this is how you would smell also good for date nights also good for dinners also good for winter a lot of these kind of perfumes like your more woody more on the dark vanilla side you would preferably wear way sorry way in the colder more cooler months so yeah otherwise sometimes i also don't like the smell of this perfume i layer it with my other perfumes but otherwise goodbye do not regret at all and the next one okay i bought this on take a lot it was 200 if not more yeah a lot of my replicas i buy from take a lot because yeah but a friend of mine yeah namulima told me um i can also get it at mar Kutropo. Ah, one day i'll tell you guys where but yeah this was 200 and something if not less or slightly a bit more next up we have okay no let me start with the one that trended first the one the only very famous <laughs> there we go also a dupe also a replica of mason francis kodijan baccarat rouge 540 but this one, you know, take a look. It's called Mason Eau de Perfume Vapor Vaporous Satire. Yo, I get. But this one smells divine. It smells beautiful, Mara. A lot of people now have have fell on the bandwagon or on the wagon because we all now smell the same so because of that i now layer this perfume i never wear it alone unless i'm certain that wherever i'm going there's a high possibility that there will be no one smelling like me so that is when i would wear it alone however this perfume is also sweet but more on the uh not tobacco on the woody sweeter side so it's not overall it's not outright sweet like the Armani C by Giorgio Armani. It's more, it's sweet the mona the man. It in a level sexy, in a level grown woman, in a level kinale chale the woman, in a level you get yes. This one is that, and um, I love that it's good for both the uh, hot days and the cooler days. So I love it. Chef's kiss. <laughs> now the brother or the sister to that one. Is also a dupe, also a replica, also by the same brand, Mason Francis Credit Jean, Credit Jean or Credit Jean. It's this one is called Baccarat Satin Oud, and it looks like this. It looks like this. Beautiful, beautiful packaging. the The original prices of these perfumes, ne, go from about four point five upwards. The most expensive one, I think, is the. 150 or 200 mils i don't have that kind of money to spend on perfume but they smell divine this one this is my second favorite in my entire collection right Yo, guys this one smells like me if you know me this is how i smell a lot of the time i use this scent and now i use it in the summer in the winter in the autumn i don't care because they yeah, Yo guys, this one smells so good. Yo! Yo. Yo, it smells like money. It smells woody. It smells, there's a touch of... Ish, I'm scared of using names of notes because what if I'm wrong? But I think there's vanilla as well in this perfume. But this one, guys, it smells... It smells like... Omosadiwa, abutu omongi, ayrang buma nine figures per month in his bank account yeah 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 it smells it smells like there's a, there's a woman i follow on instagram i think her instagram handle is 
madame langa or madame langa she's an interior designer yo that woman probably smells like this or even she also she that woman probably also smells like portrait of a lady or what's that other one that i like the liner exclusive yeah guys god must bless me with money because i need to smell like that in my existence <laughs> but this one chef's kiss as well next up we have also a replica also a dupe also bought from take a lot it's the replica or dupe of the christian dio oud ispahan um this is how it looks it has a very similar bottle like all the other ones however this does not smell like oud ispahan i've i've went to christian i've went to dio and i've smelled that oud ispahan and this is not it this smells like a man's perfume it reminds me so much of my ex because <laughs> he used to smell now you tell her religiously oud ispahan but this one oh, this one i layer it with my sweeter perfumes like your armani c your vibrant leather for her i mix it a lot with the sweeter ones so as to not smell like a man because i'm not trying to smell like a man so i don't like how it smells honestly but it smells expensive it smells expensive it smells very masculine it smells very powerful type of thing only this perfume you'll definitely smell powerful you'll turn heads i just don't like the smell of it also bought from take a lot right next up oh i forgot this these two next up is this one this is also a replica or a dupe it's a dupe of um tom ford <sighs> i'll check my screenshots but i don't even know when i screenshots it but i'll check my screenshots and tell you but it's a replica of a tom ford right um the name of it is vibrant leather for her you the perfume right from zara as well um it smells good but it smells sweet i don't like it that much i only smell i only put this on when i really feel like putting this perfume on otherwise layer it honey otherwise we layer otherwise we layer it was also a blind buy so the reason i bought it right there's a page i follow on instagram probably like any perfume so the lady was speaking like was comparing zara perfumes to the originals and whatnot and that's how i got to buy it i love tom ford the brand i love their style i love their clothes their accessories right so because i love that i figured hurry that means i would really love the perfumes especially the more woody the more typical coffee type of perfumes because that's my style that's my brand so that's the only reason i bought this perfume is because it is a replica or a dupe of a tom ford which is a brand i love but can't yet afford <laughs> next up we have this one this was also a blind buy i don't like the smell of this perfume it smells like spiritual toilet so i mix it i layer it with my other more intense smelling perfumes this one smells like it smells like glad, kingish, glad fresh or king. Yo, guys, perfume eh? We used to smell like this in high school. Right now, this is not how I want to smell because now I have the power to decide how I want to smell. And now we look high school. Our parents used to buy us perfumes. So, yeah, that's how it smells. Hey, guys, I don't like the smell of the perfume, but the bottle looks absolutely amazing. I bought it. I can't remember where I bought it, but I'll link it down below. <clears throat> and then, second last is this one. This was a gift. I treasure this perfume so much. It was a gift about two years ago. It's a Gucci Bloom perfume. Um, smells absolutely amazing. The first year that I got this perfume, I didn't use it because it just smells too sweet. And like I said, you got that. <laughs> But it smells lovely. It smells like a lunch date with your man at cream or at signature. Or it smells like a quick in and out brunch, you know? Or a, or a picnic, a cute picnic, you know? Or an event like booty wisdom and wellness. See, you know, perfumes like this, I've noticed a lot of sweet perfumes flourish a lot in warmer weather, right? And the more hot it is, the more they will intensify. So that's the nice thing about these sweet perfumes. Hence, get a booty wisdom and wellness. Oh, what's that other event? I'll remember them. But 
this is how you would want to smell when you're going to a garden type of event hence you know get it last but not least and most certainly my favorite perfume in my collection is this burberry my burberry black perfume oh my gosh hey guys has a perfume a eh? I smell like mine oh, i don't use that perfume match and it's quite old but i don't use it much because i can't get fade and it's so sentimental to me you know and a lot of other things but here luckily this one has notes the top notes um jasmine flower candid candied rose peach nectar what what my kind of things amber patchouli a uh, middle notes are jasmine rose crystal lacy nectar Oh, no, no, I'm lying. It's the same thing, just in a different language. Yeah. But, <clears throat> yo, guys, it smells it smells perfection. I remember... Oh, guys, no, let me... I'd rather not. But th this is my signature scent. These two are definitely my signature scent. And this one gets hella fella when I'm going to see serious people. Oh, or when I'm going to lunches and dinner dates with a significant other when i'm going to yeah i only pour this perfume spray this perfume heck yeah i long to see this never to see this could you play it to see this yes and that ladies and gentlemen is my perfume collection um i will you guys will see the worth of this entire perfume in the title of the video i'm sure you can see it now please if you have loved this video please click the like button down below comment down below and tell me which perfume is your favorite or which perfume you are intending to buy or which perfume you would love to buy from this collection and if you love me please click the subscribe button down below i am begging i am pleading please <laughs> thank you so much for tuning in Mwah!